very special episode today, guys. If you go back to quite a few videos, I had talked about how my Goodwill, no matter what the condition or what the record is, is, is two bucks each. And I had made a joke that I've seen so many people showing videos and even gifting me records that were like from their Goodwill for like 50 cents. And so I was like, Ugh, why can't my Goodwill, why don't they have standard pricing? What the hell is wrong with them? And so I said, hey, you know what? If you guys want to just go to your local Goodwill and be like a secret shopper and just get a whole bunch of records, no matter what they are, because I love everything, you don't know. It might be an upgrade. I might have the record, but this one's going to be better. You don't know. I want everything. Because remember, my whole thing is I want the widest variety of everything from all vinyl types and all genres. Just go buy them and send them to me. I'll even pay you like 20 bucks. You spend 10 bucks, get 20 records, spend the other 10 bucks on shipping, whatever. And so uh, Beth had jo joked about it, like, I'd love to go out and do that. I'll do that for you. And so that's not what happened. I didn't pay her anything. But it does look as though I got this huge-ass box in the mail from Beth over at B-Side Records. So maybe this will be the first of many videos of Beth's Secret Shopper Service. And since we're on subscriptions, I also am a member of the Redco Music uh, Mu uh, CD Library Club. And so it looks like I also got another package in the mail from Red. So what is in the package? I'm not going to look. She's opening it. What did Red get me this time? Let's see here if I can figure it out from the back. I'm going to cover that up. Um, oh, wow. And I can see it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is Bangles. Yes, this has got Manic Monday on it. Walk like an Egyptian. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Look at that. This is going to be a great. So we're going to put it in the plastic case. And remember, guys, you guys can ship CDs to each other if you just do that and put it in an envelope. It's just a regular stamp. A lot cheaper than doing the media mail or shipping on vinyl. That is awesome. Thank you, Red. Love bangles. Mrs. VV does. Are you going to yoink that one? Be that mean. I didn't ask if you were going to be mean or not. I got asked if you were going to or not. Because you are capable of it. Believe me, I've been with you 20 years. Uh, I might, just from that. We're both going to enjoy it a lot. Now there's a card that came with this one. Oh, so Beth Gus card. Is it for my birthday? Is it a birthday card? That was last week, but... This guy here a lot later. If you guys are uh, subscribed to Mama Bear Vinyl, Cindy's channel, she sent this <coughs> package out the same time she sent that package to Cindy, which got to her a week ago. This one got detoured and hung up a little bit, so we're calling it a birthday present, right. along with me making up its front of subscription service. You go ahead with the cards. This is going to take me a minute. Yeah, there's like banding and strapping on that box, so she's going to work on that oh, while I do this. That's for sure. Hashtag, all vinyl lives matter, guys. That is what my channel's all about. You got it. Brand new home for a whole bunch of new children. Yay. <clears throat> it's just a little note. See? It's a little note. It's so teeny, teeny, tiny. That's cute, Beth. Yes, it says, Steve Marino. Happy belated birthday. As I know, this will get to you late. Thank you for being an awesome friend. Aw, oh, Beth. I'm not half as awesome as you are, but who can be? You working on it? I'm trying. I'm going to make sure it got here safe. I think strapping and banding is a good way to make sure it gets there in one piece. I wore my special MeUndies hat today just for you, Beth. Don't ask why. It makes no sense. I will say... Beth has one big box. Wow. Mm-hmm. All right. Are you in it? No. Because it's tape, too. You're not in Beth's box yet? I really would like to see you get in Beth's box. Now hurry up. Don't stare at me like I'm an idiot. Just open the box. Get in the box. Man. See, sometimes I think we should just pre-do things, but then it's not as fun. Now, I was going to do a whole bunch of fun, fancy editing. This is all one take because I asked Beth, what does she want? And she actually said, keep it simple, stupid. 
the kiss method. So, as simple as it gets is me turning on the camera, and you get to deal with all the shenanigans and time-wasting filler space that I'm going through now. So, uh, I'm going to have, uh, while we're waiting, Spider-Man and Wolverine. Hey, Wolverine! Yeah, what's up, bub? How you doing? I don't like you. You don't belong in there. Oh, you're going to like the top one. Oh, boy. You are going to absolutely love the top one. Spence is killing me. I'm so excited because I love all records, all Vital Lives Matter. Mm. There is a ton in here. I know there's a ton in there. It's a big box and it was heavy. There is no padding. This is all. All records. right. Stop the yak and start the vinyl. Oh. Please, ma'am, can I have one? <laughs> Ooh, what is... Well, of course, it's Tavis. Good old VC here. Got a copy of his CD. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Tavis, you rock. You're awesome. Great channel. Great music, so I've heard. Now I can hear on my own. His record, Unity. Awesome. That's not the one I said you're going to love, though. Well, I do love that. Tavis um, rocks. Tavis is awesome. But this one you're Subscribe if you haven't already. Love. Okay, what you're is it? You're going to be lucky I'm not taking it from you. But it's your birthday gift. It is? Johnny at San Quentin. Oh, this is in really good shape. Yes, it has Boy Named Sue on it. That's one of your favorites. Columbia 2i. Woohoo! Sexy, sexy, sexy. It's a little warpage, but that can work if you listen. Warper? It's all right. Hope it wasn't from the heat. If it was that way originally, I'm happy. All right, what's up next? Country Sunday. Still in the shrink. 20 great country artists as advertised on TV. Wow. It's not a Ronco. And it's not a K-Tel. It's from Word. Let's see what I was talking about, guys. 50 cents. 50 cents for a record. Never get that up here. Glenn Campbell, Pat Boone, Roy Acuff. There we go. Johnny Cash on here. Loretta Lynn, Wayne Newton. Come on, guys. That's awesome. Thank you, Beth. You're doing two for two good. I can't think of her name, but she was the little girl that played on Little House on the Prairie. I bet it was. was kid. Yes. Original TV soundtrack from Sunshine featuring songs by John Denver. And yes, remember the little girl running through the field on, Mar on uh, Little House on the Prairie? In the beginning, she's running. Through the field. That's the little, same little girl actor, but can't remember her name. Be darned if I will. But yeah, wow, look at that. Woohoo! Love John Denver. Great songs on here. Yeah, everything. Why do I not know about Sunshine? Now I'm going to have to go online and, like, watch it. I don't remember even hearing of it. All right, what's next? Kingston Trio. Didn't you give me some Kingston Trio before? Don't stop. It's okay. Keep coming. Keep them coming, babe. Recorded and live what performance. From the Hungry Eye. I do not have this one. I didn't even know this one. What's, what's the Hungry Eye? This is a mystery. Check, check out this at the back. Ah! Ah! He does look hungry, so I'm good with that. He's like, I'll eat you. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. She kept it coming. Okay. I heard you. More kicks and trio! Ooh, sold out! Look at that. I'm gonna have like 10 kinks and trio records. This is great. I don't have this one either. El Matador. Yeah, I love that one. Oh, and Raspberry Strawberries is on here. Is this live? It says sold out. But see, if it doesn't say live from a performance, it could be one of those, they did it in the studio and then they piped in the track behind it. It happened a lot in this genre, in this time frame, where they said it was a live record, but it was in the studio. Because they didn't have as good recording equipment back then as they do nowadays. Ooh, Sun's Best of Charlie Rich. I do not have this one. I do have a Best of Charlie Rich on Sun, but it doesn't look anything like this. It's got a white cover. I'm curious if it's the same record with the same tracks or if it's a completely different one. If Either way, that's awesome. Wow. 50 cents or less. I think she said four for a buck there was a sale going on at one point. Like, what? The Bobby Darren story. Lazy River, Mac the Knife, Splish Splash. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
When the clock strikes. <laughs> Send the head for the night. Oh, that old Adco label. Isn't that beautiful? This is a classic. I love this, man. This is awesome. These are all great records. I cannot wait to put them up there and spin every single one, clean them all up, get them going. What's that? Jelly, next? jelly. Your jelly, jelly. Oh, because it's a Kenny Rogers that you don't have. Oh, that's why I you're have jelly, a jelly. Lot of Kenny Rogers. You do. You don't got this one. Hey, Beth. Can she have this one? Thank you. There you go, honey. I can listen to it anytime I want anyway. Probably most of the good songs are on other records I got of his. We're good. Yeah, but you know how you collect your little side ones? Right. Kenny is one of your Kenny is one that I try to collect all. Beth loves you too. It's not all about me. It's about the Value Vinyl family. Even though that we have a 13-year-old craphead who refuses to be in videos anymore. Unless we bribe her. Kids. Well, I threatened her last time. So. Awesome. Manhattan Transfer. I've got two others I got in the mountain, but not this one. This is great. Oh, this has got... Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, do, do, diddy. Talk about the boy from New York City. Yeah, that's cool. Doing the cover of that, which is right up Manhattan Transfer Alley. Dave Dudley the Pool Shark. This night ain't for nothing but drinking. I saw this before. I don't know if it was on your channel or somebody else's channel. I saw this before. I'm like, that looks awesome. The Pool Shark Dave Dudley. There's a story behind this, too, and I'll be damned if I remember it. That's cool. Still in the shrink. Woo-hoo. Bobby Sherman's greatest hits. I got a bunch of... What? 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 Die cut. What? Is this... A... Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Oh. And it's a unit pack, too. The record's coming out the middle. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. This is awesome. I definitely don't have this. That's a gem. I got a lot of Bobby Sherman. Not that one. You're filling in my holes with your big box. Or is your big box a hole that's getting filled? I don't know. Anyway, Santo and Johnny, wish you love. I don't know nothing about this. It's a discovery for me. No clue. Canadian American records, though. I get a lot of Canadian stuff up here in Maine, but how do you get down there in Hillbilly Town, Missouri? We used to live in the same state she lives in. Come on now. Not Hillbilly Town. Not all Hillbillies. I know. There's She's rednecks there, too. She's sensitive. Jeez. What do we got here? Bring to me Mr. C. Well, that would be Perry Como, I would think. It doesn't say it anywhere on there, but it sure looks like Perry. Back. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Sing to me, Mr. C. Perry Como. Ah, ah, Living Stereo. RCA Victor. Gotta listen to Perry Como. Yeah, if I could recognize who he is by his face, obviously I like the guy. Just Who's for next? that, you're not getting your special treat. Special treat? What? I didn't mean to call Red Dex Hillbillies. It's like calling an Irishman a Scotsman, you know? They're like, oh, these be fighting words. And like, eh, tone it What's down there, McGillicuddy, thing? you know? They're calling Hillbilly a redneck. Ooh. What's that say? It'd be fun words, y'all. What's that say? That, that's, that, that's just K-Tel. You're going to let me have the K-Tel record, right? Can I have the K-Tel record? I want the K-Tel record. It's still in the shrink! You make an apology. I'm sorry. Rednecks are the civilized version of hillbillies. Rednecks. Okay, thank you. Ah, look at that. 20 Great Superstars. k -tel in the shrink. Look at all those hits. Awesome. Whoa, we're starting to get on camera here. The pile's getting so high. Michael Martin Murphy. Best of. I gotta be honest. I'm not totally familiar with Michael Martin Murphy. I should be, maybe. You know why? On the back it says here, Mandolin done by Ricky Skaggs. I know Ricky Skaggs. So <coughs> definitely would be in that genre. <coughs> Yeah, National String Machine is on strings, so yeah. Could be some good country, I would assume. I need to learn. Oh, you want to take the stack? Ugh. All right. Is that it? No. Oh, my gosh, there's more? That's only half. Beth! This is awesome. This is a great surprise. I got so many records to work on. This is going to be so fun. I do have Olivia Newton-John, If You Love Me, Let Me Know, but I'm going to tell you right now, 
I don't see hardly any ring wear at all. Look at those corners. Uh, I think this is going to be an upgrade. There's no way it can't be. I mean, it doesn't get much better quality and condition than that. Nice. Nice. Olivia upgrade. All right. Who's next? A Neil Diamond I don't have? Is it possible? Uh-huh. Yes, it is. Look at that. It's got Sweet Caroline on it. Awesome. Wow. What else is on here? Yeah. There's a lot of good tracks on here. Yeah, I don't know this one. Thank you. Wow. Expanded my Neil Diamond collection. I didn't think it could be expanded anymore. Another Kingsman. Yes. Love Kingsman. Volume 3. Of course, it doesn't have Louie Luai on it, but you know what? Somebody already gave me that one. You know who you are. Because I know you're watching this. Because, you know. But yes, love them. They really started that genre of kind of like garage rocky Brit crossover kind of thing. And they had a special place. And uh, I love their sound and their tone. You better have another Waylon and Jesse. Because I know you love Waylon and Jesse. So this must be a double. It better be. Because if you got this in this shape and giving me your only, I'd be really upset. In the comments, you're going to be like, yes, I already have that one. You you will say that. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Jesse Albright. All right. Connie Francis. Connie's 15 grazes. I don't have the... You're spinning 100% because there's only one in there that I have, and it's a definite upgrade. Killing it. You're the best this, this secret shopper ever. Yeah, I'm looking at Sorry. I got lost in myself. What's next? Roger Miller. Oh, this has got Ding Me and Chug a Lug out. Chug a Lug, Chug a Lug. Make me go hide ho. Yeah. Dang me. Dang on the rope and hang me. I'm the highest tree. Oh, I love Roger Miller. He's one of my favorites of all time. And I do not have that. It's mono on Smash Records. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And you're paying 50 cents a piece for these. Each of these would have been two bucks. I mean, there's like 100 bucks worth of records here. Chuck Gerard. I have a Chuck Gerard. I do not have this one. Awesome. Cool. And you know what? It's one of those records I haven't had yet a chance to spin, so I'm going to have a back to back, play them back to back, and see what I think of them. But I know I have one. It's not that one. Handsome man. Country Power Play, two record set, super hits of the last two decades. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Charlie Rich, Dolly Parton, Porter Wagner, Eddie Arnold, Skeeter Davis. Oh, yeah. Plenty of country. Oh, Wild Ash Cannibal. I was hoping that. And, of course, King of the Road would be. Right Carl Perkins, my kind of country, still in the shrink. I have a couple Carl Perkinses. Don't have this one. Oh. I love it when... Brand new, it's two bucks, which is just dirt freaking cheap, and you pay 50 cents. You have the best Goodwills in the world. I'm just going on a road trip just to go to Missouri, go to Goodwill. Bobby Rydell sings Forget Him. Oh, look at that. How can you forget him? He's in your locket. That's kind of counterintuitive. Ah, uh, cameo record. Thick, thick record. A 200 grand vinyl. The Return of Roger Miller. And this one's got the other two best ones. Do Wackadoo and King of the Road on it. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, that's great. See? He's even advertising the other record on this record. I got the set. Judy Lynn sings at Caesar's House. Look at that outfit, guys. Is it just me or if Beth ever decides to show her face on camera... I want her wearing this outfit. If you think that is what should happen, go ahead and give a like to this video and say down in the comments. Joni Mitchell. I've got a few Joni Mitchells. I don't have this one. Oh, look at that. Oh. The LA Express, Miles of Isles. Is this a two record set? It is. Holy cannoli. Oh, I can't wait to spend that. It's the last one. Michael Stanley Band. 
It's a little empty. Mm. But it's a okay. nice it's a nice cover. It needs a home. And boy, that's in good shape. And you never know. Maybe I'll come across the record someday. Sounds good. Try to wallpaper your upstairs room with yeah. record covers. All the record covers where I don't have records for, and I have the actual record, it's just an extra cover. We'll put them all in do the mural on the wall. And this will go toward that mural because not only do all vinyl lives matter, but all covers and sleeves matter too. Wow. My God, and there's a second stack. Look at that. Look at her cuddling the Kenny Rogers. That's just cute. She didn't want you, she didn't want you guys to see that, but she's snuggling up with it like it's her new boyfriend. What's Kenny smell like? Does he smell as good as me? Do you smell like fried chicken? It smells better. Probably. Anyway, thank you for sticking around. Thank you to Red. I appreciate the subscription club, the, the CDs. It's growing our collection. Because you know darn well I'm going to find a hard time buying CDs. I'm getting over the hang-up, but I do enjoy listening to them. And I do like them. I just They're all spending money. Mrs. VV, Bree, they're all spending money on the CDs. Not moi. I was going to say, I'm going to Oh, I know. I mean, hey, if you want to take a look here. Look at that, Keith, over there. Those two those two shelves, those are all CDs. Quite a few of them are ones you gave me. So oh, thank you, Red. More. Well, yeah, there's more. can't see them. The bottom shelf. So, and also, whoo, Beth, what can I do for you? Thank yes, you. I am sending out a box full of records, but not nearly that thick to you. So I'm a little behind. i got to figure out something to do. But... You're awesome. That is great. And guys, seriously, if you come across uh, any amount of records or you see somebody giving away records for free, no matter what the shape of the condition they're in, I, they will come in. All Vinyl Lives Matter. They need to have a good home. Send them this way. Um, and if you want to, and do a secret shopper thing too where I send you 20 bucks and you can go ship, buy a whole bunch of thrift store records and send them to me as a surprise. Maybe I have them. Maybe I don't. I don't really care. Could be an upgrade. That's awesome. Let me know. We'll work something out. That'd be fun. The Secret Shopper thing's awesome. What a great variety. Take care, guys. See, I kept it simple. And I'm stupid. Just like you wanted, Beth. Take care.